Welcome everybody. This is a way of linking everybody, whether it's at the elite level or the grassroots level, to make sure that men out there get a regular check. The message from the EJ Witten Foundation is to take charge of your own health. See your GP and get an annual blood test. The EJ Witten Foundation has raised nearly $12 million for prostate cancer research and awareness and has conducted local club and community programs that have reached over 10,000 people. Thousands of men are getting tested for prostate cancer and other men's health issues, and hundreds of lives have been saved. When I was growing up, he was Mr Football. Well, Ted, how does it feel uh, to be walking down this lane, approaching the ground for your, for your last game? It feels bloody awful, David. Does it? Does it? Yeah, I don't feel very happy about it at all. But, uh, it has to come, and uh, this is it. The, uh, the skies haven't been too good to us either, really. If he could see what his son's doing today, it's beyond, it's beyond football. It's beyond anything. He's doing something for mankind, and there's nothing bigger than that. I know what an inspiration this bloke was. He was my... He was, he was my godsend, you know? I'm starting to get a bit emotional. <laughs> Real trigger for myself is my daughter's now five and she's like a Duracell battery. She flies off in the morning, recharges overnight. And I just began to notice that when I was doing stuff with her, it was that sort of like heavy breathing going, and, <gasps> and I thought, I'm not going to be one of those dads. For us, it really raises the profile of our cricket club in another sense other than cricket. So now we're actually an active member in the community supporting health initiatives. So I'm a urologist. I look after the problems with the kidneys, bladder, prostate, testicles, uh, or as my uh, six-year-old says, I'm a doodle doctor. <laughs> it's important for me. I've just become a father for the first time, and he's only four months, four months old. So. You know, I think it's a responsibility of each person to make sure you get involved in these programs and it's an important time for me to make sure I get checked and relay to all our, our uh, players and staff around here that they do the same. I had a chemo bottle about the size of a baby's bottle, you know, the old milk bottle. I had that in my pocket 24-7 and that was just a slow little drip. Hearing it from Laurie, you know, that was fantastic to hear that. And when you're in that live environment, it, it, you seem, it seems to hit, hit home a bit closer. I got some stuff from, from Fitzer last year and I put up at work. We did a fundraiser grand final day. And then one of the fellas who saw it all that works me goes in next week to get his prostate all done and saved him. So that's what it's all about.